Thank you, Grogu. Thank you, Queen. Boy Dan, aka Drop, pretty guys. Another episode of our Pokemon Soulstones Shiny Log. If you missed the last one, it's in the description below. As always, we took on the second Soul Keeper and got wrecked. I only have three Pokemon left, so I need to go and get some new Pokemon because Voltergeist and Z and Quackers all went down. So we're gonna have to go figure that out. Hopefully, I don't run into any tough trainers in the meantime. So let me get out of this cave. Let me go, you know, get a new team of sorts. And then we'll jump into things. So, as always, Zvolta guys, you're dead. As always, if you guys enjoyed the videos, like I said, like the video and uh, subscribe, of course. Let's do it. We're gonna have some fun with the Twitch homies. Let's get it. Okay, so I have to meet them at the Pokemon Center, I think, is the next thing we have to do. But, like, I don't want to run into any dialogue right now because I need to fix my team. Oh, yeah, there he is. So, I think I just talk to him whenever I'm ready. Okay, that's fine. Many Pokemon have been lost. Goodbye to Voltergeist. And, oh, you're still alive. Goodbye to Quackers, who was really good. Um, and goodbye, of course, to Zeds. Z, 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 Okay. Um, the good news is I still have plenty of good Pokemon around, so that's a thing. I, I feel like, um, I feel like this Nautu is definitely worth considering on the team. I think now I can bring back Butterfree. I can't do. I, I, I'm gonna grab you again. I'm gonna rock with these guys. I'm gonna stick to kind of the team that we have because I do feel like we have a cool team. Although, does this give me like a massive ground weakness? No, because I have a ground immunity and a ground uh, resist. Okay, so let me train these uh, couple Pokemon up a little bit and then I think we'll be in good shape. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Hey, Drive, you could have take could you have taken longer? I've been waiting anxiously for you to get here. What's going on? Is my family in danger? I have so many questions. Pierre, we don't have much time. My colleagues are gonna be coming here soon. You need to trust me and go along with what I say. Listen to me, you're not safe if you agree to go with Agent Spencer. You will need to insist that you will work with me and only me. Is that understood? Uh, okay, Drive, I'll do it. Uh, thank you, Casey, for the gifted sub, man. Rhea, they're here! Mr. Pierre Carlton, who's asking? Pierre, this is my colleague, Spencer. I am sorry to be meeting you under such distressing circumstances, Mr. Carlton. I expect Adrive has already explained to you our objective here. Yes, I have. Regrettably, I understand that those assassins made off with your pendant. Yes, that's correct. Do you know what is what is the significance of my family's pendant? We are still trying to determine that, but it's very concerning that these assassins got their hand on yours. We need to be vigilant. Spencer, do we need to start securing Amberforge against another Pokemon attack, like how Stonecrest was attacked? We do not believe that to be the case. We were victorious the last time, so it seems that the anime may want to gather more of the Soul Stones to bolster their power before they come back for a second attack. Pierre, we would like to enter you into protective custody for your own safety. Spencer, I knew you would suggest that, but I have a counter proposal. Pierre has the means to protect himself against the shadow creatures. He's the president of the Amberforge Mine. He likely has more resources to dedicate to his protection than we could offer ourselves. I also have my own Pokemon to fight off against more of those shadow creatures now that I know what to expect. Plus, they already have Pierre's family pendant. If those shadow creatures wanted them dead, they would have killed them by now. The same goes for Emil. They certainly had the means to do so. The immediate danger to Pierre has passed. Spencer, Adrav's right. Zerus and his lackeys want the Soul Stones. They don't want the Soul Keepers. If they were important to their cause, they would have abducted Emil and Pierre by now. Your plan to incentivize Zerus to come out of hiding hinges on us having something to lure him out of hiding. Agent Rhea, you are speaking out of order. This is highly inadvisable, but your logic is sound and threat is significantly reduced if the assassins have already taken Mr. Carlton's pendant. We can keep his security contingent on hand to monitor Pierre for extra protection, but he will be allowed to stay at his residence for now. A-Drive will contact you with additional instructions when we know where to go next. Additionally, after your recent display of bravery, Agent A-Drive, I will grant you clearance level two. And now our level cap has gone up to 55, ladies and gentlemen. Which means we essentially have two badges or two, two clearance levels. Thank you, Casey, for the sub love, man. Appreciate you throwing down twice and subbing yourself. Thank you, man. I will also give you this one item as a reward for a job well done. The Oval Charm. And uh, we get more eggs at the daycare. So there you go. Okay, A-Drive, I went with your plan. Now you must tell me why you don't trust your own colleagues. Let's just say I don't like my employer's approach. So that explains why you didn't tell them about us meeting Terrakion either. So what you're saying is correct, and these villains are interested in our family pendants, then we need to go to Windvale City immediately. I have a cousin, Sienna, who I recall had a similar violet pendant. She is a priestess of the Windvale Monastery. 
She took a vow of isolation to dedicate herself to spiritual enlightenment many years ago. I haven't seen her in years because she forbade our family from ever seeing her. Surely this has to be an exception though because she might not know that those shadow creatures are coming for her. You need to go east on Route 104 until you reach the cable car. That will take you to Route 105 and then you need to cross to get to Wind Vale. I will send word to her to tell you you're coming. I'm gonna train my Pokemon and get them ready for those shadow creatures. Yeah, th I gotta say this game actually does like pretty cool stuff when it comes to storytelling. I'm actually digging the storyline. Um, but now we're gonna continue our journey. So uh, we've got our squad here. And we are gonna head to the next area. I'm gonna see if I can get any potions or anything. I don't really have a ton of money. I, I might have some stuff to sell. Where are we? We are on Route 113. So we're kind of taking this little back kind of uh, side area here. And in the morning, we're in the daytime so we can get a Sylveon in the wild and a, a different form Poplio. And at night, oh, the daytime encounters are way better. Okay, so they're just telling me this is optional. All right, so that's two encounters. So let's hunt here. Might as well. And this isn't a BOGO, it's a <gasps> SHINY GOLDEN KEYS! I guess I had to talk G Fuel today instead. Drink Shiny Splash, it's great. <laughs> shiny Keys, baby! Got the key- Oh, Low Fat's learning the dance! Who's ready to dance? I'm not keeping in my party, no, you think I'm crazy? Alright, big wins there, we got a Shiny. Let's keep on keeping on. Into Die Dam Village. All right, Epoch Question Man, what do you say? When revive, what fossil will produce an Epoch Aerodactyl? Harden Jade. And what Pokemon ability prevents stat loss and status conditions as long as you're a grass type? I think it's Leaf Guard. Flower Veil? I guess that's only an it's not chlorophyll. Aroma Veil is for sleep. So Flower Veil? There it is. Five hard scales. Ooh, that's big. Thank you. Ooh, Evolution Vendor. Ooh! Hot diggity dog! Ooh, wait, what do you... Fi any fire type Pokemon will give me an Epoch Beedrill. Time out! I'm trading for this and I think... Does anyone know if I can, if I can shiny hunt for this trade? All right, we're doing this 100%. I'm doing this. I wasn't planning on really doing trades, but this one I feel is good because I have a Pokemon to trade, so. Will I know if it's shiny on this screen? That's amazing! Oh my god, steel and bug! Oh, I want it so bad. Okay. I gotta, uh, that's my first encounter, we gotta reset. So, I've, I've played Pokemon my entire life. I've played every main series game. I did skip a lot. Yo, there it is! That's our shiny! Yeah, buddy. That is our shiny B. We got Epoch B Drill, and it comes with the Mega Stone. It's modest nature with battle armor, so we. Oh, it's a special attacker in this game. Oh, they really gave you a beast. And it's got Quiver. Oh, God, this thing is about to be busted. Okay, I am actually going to keep this thing safe by boxing it for now because we can't Mega Evolve. But we will bring him back to the team later. Roserade Knight! Ooh! Roserade has a mega form in this game. Gigantonite! Wait, I already have Gigalith's Mega Stone. Do I have two? Oh, I have Epoch Gigantic Gigalith. <laughs> Route 114. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's the Rock and Roller in the water. Yo! What? Quackers! It's backers! <laughs> ah! Or do I take the second Quackers? We can bring Quackers backers, right? Well, prediction squad, under 50 wins, because I did get the shiny under 50. Alright, chat's telling me uh, that it's Dupes Claws, so Quackers, I'm sorry. Oh man, sub train's going down! Oh, it's Shiny Chikorita with the purple leaf. Magenta Rita. Geo with the save again. Oh, Magenta Rita not feeling it today. Shout out to my second longest Shiny hunt ever, getting a Shiny Chikorita and Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, I'll put it in the PC for now. Okay, so I think I did everything in this area. We got our Shiny, we got some berries. I guess I should count encounters, right? Because I'm going to get a Shiny here. Yeah, I mean, I think we just go for the hippo, just because it's funny looking. Hello there! 
there. That's our shiny for this round because I didn't shiny hunt yet. Geo and five gifties. That looks so cool. I wasn't even counting because I wasn't like starting the hunt yet, but I didn't get the shiny in this route, so we'll take it. Uh, do you die to Psybeam? Mm, I don't know if I want to risk that. I don't want Skip Loom. What is, what is I, I already have a shiny jump bluff anyway, so it's whatever. Oh! What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I already got, I already got my shiny in this route, so see you later. Um, all right, I think we're done with this route, so we can keep on keeping on here. Right? Yeah, I think so. I feel lightheaded! I think it's happening again! My friends, I understand the gravity of my request, but there is no other I would entrust this mission to. Are you out of your mind? This is a suicide mission! Desperate times call for desperate measures. Every moment we dawdle, the agency encloses around us. We need to take them out at the throat, sabotage their technology, stem the tide of their reinforcements. We need a plan! How are we gonna get into the facility? This is incredibly dangerous. Many of the rebels' lives could be lost. They are our friends and family now that the agency has taken the true ones away from us. We can't just sacrifice them like guinea pigs. No, we can't, which is why I'm asking the three of you, and the three of you alone to do so. If we do this, we buy ourselves precious time. This is nonsense! There has to be another way! There isn't. I would not ask this of you of any other recourse. If you don't do this, all of us lose. The Argent Revolution fades into the darkness like a flame doused in the night. All of those we care for will be enslaved and their freedoms taken from them. I will do it! Adrov, are you crazy? No, Kara. We have to do it. We have to try. Thank you, Adrive. There's a small chance we do this, and you don't lose your life in the bargain. I'm not letting Adrive do this himself. I can't either. Fine, we're in. Another flashback? Who was I? Those voices definitely sounded like Rhea and myself for sure. And then there was that blonde lady again. Who is she? And who was that other guy? This wasn't the same guy as the last flashback. Hmm. Interesting. If this is really the grotto, I'm gonna be mind blown. It is. Oh. Oh, a Zangus! Oh, it's always shiny. I don't even have to shiny hunt it. It's always shiny. Just kidding. It looks like Saviper! Perfect. Savangus. Oh my god, where are we? This looks like there could be bugs. <gasps> a Drift Blim? I kind of want to do the Drift Blim. Like, just chance the Drift Blim. Because that looks so cool and I don't have any fire types. Plus, there's like pseudo legends otherwise. I feel like that's the play. Thank you, Grogu. Thank you, Queen. Pretty sure that was on one of the previous routes that we were on and I did not shiny hunt that. That Venipede was cool though. Looked like a Psychic Venipede, yeah. Yo, Shiny Rufflet! We get back to the grass and the Rufflet shines right after. Honestly, not a bad Mon, but I have so many flying types now. Yeah, I'm gonna help. I just caught myself a America, so now I have to protect America. Oh god, they attack together. Wait! I really gotta battle him again! Hey, thanks for the TM for Aerial Ace, homie. Rapidition 9 and <laughs> Rapidash in the night! Nailed it. You're one of the monks. Ice school crash. No one can learn it though, monk. Oh my god, are you gonna make me give you a super potion now? The Licky Tongue just threw up on me. I got some gold, a hard scale, and the leftovers. Ooh, I'll take the leftovers though. I'll take the leftovers, thank you. Choice Specs! Oh, diggity dog! That was so worth the struggle! <laughs> that was so worth it. Oh my goodness. You can change the nature. Ooh, okay, this guy can't change the nature. Wait, we got some good stuff here, hold up. This guy traded me a Sunflora. Strong jaw! Ha! Ah! That's really good. All right, I want Sniper on my, uh, my other dude. There it is. Yeah, so I can get Pure Power Cadabra and a couple other things now, if I wanted to. 
So we have options now that we have this this trainer here. Uh oh. What brings you to Windvale? You don't have that security clearance to know that. You crafty guy using agency double speak on me. I can respect that. Let's have a quick battle. Alrighty, I'm battling Cameron. Hopefully he's not too strong because uh, I haven't leveled up really in a while. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really the best shape for this, but let's see how it goes. He's gonna expedite F2, jeez. I'm gonna screen for eight turns. Para, nice. He's gonna Icy Wind, but uh, he crits me through the screen, of course. I'm gonna switch it out in a camera. Ugh. Okay, this is, I can already tell this is gonna be a tricky battle. I'm gonna crunch, because I have Strong Jaw now. Yeah, uh, I really don't want to sleep, though. I want to get the KO, but I don't want to sleep, so... Tell me how camera runs my entire team. Yeah, I gotta take the sleep. It is what it is. Here comes Napoleon again. All right, at least he lost his special defense boost, so I'll go back to Totem. Nice para. There goes my screen, but it's all good. It helped us out enough. Yep, he had a fighting type move. I should be faster. If he has Sucker Punch, though, he kills me. Nice. Um, can't stay in here, but I do have Venomax for this. Sunny Day, so he's Sunny Day Chlorophyll. There goes his berry. I misclicked. Doesn't matter though, I still didn't knock him out. Yeah, Starboy learning Psychic, finally. Um, I think I heal. Let's go. Get wrecked, Cameron! Any particular you want to speak to me or... No, not really. I see an agent. I have to challenge him to a battle. I'm off. Uh, good luck with whatever mission you're doing. Whew! All right. Well, I think that is a spot for us to end because it's been about three hours of us recording this episode live. It is a great spot for us to end this episode of Soul Stones. So if you saw it on YouTube, after the fact, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Soul Stones, baby. Peace out.